Hi, it's Pastor Marty from the Afternoon Drive, and I was going to deal with this on Monday, and then I thought, no, really, to be timely and to be appropriate, I needed to do this tonight. And uh, some of you are just not going to understand why a pastor, of all people, would take this position on someone who has died. Have you no sympathy? Do you not have empathy? Yes, actually, I do. President George H.W. Bush, the 41st POTUS, has died. And as a pastor, as a Christian, as a fellow human being, I certainly understand that the Bush family tonight is hurting, they're grieving. My own father passed one year ago, yesterday. I understand exactly what the Bush family is trying to process as a family. That is not lost on me. That said, the Bush family are in a position where they like to rule. They're part of an oligarch. They're entrenched deep state. They are one world order. And with George H.W. Bush being dead, the world is safer. And yes, I just said that. With George H.W. Bush being dead, the world is safer. And it's amazing how as soon as it was announced he was dead, every news channel, especially Fox News, have all these specials ready to roll honoring this man. One right after the other. And we're going to get this now round the clock for another week. This is the John McCain thing all over again. But I'm sorry. We're, we're, going to, we're going to point out the real record here. The real record that his father, Prescott Bush, not only had, um, shall we say, some interesting ways of which he dealt with financial matters, but he himself involved in laundering money and making sure that arms were sold to the Nazis. Now, that was might have been prior to our entering World War II, but nonetheless, he was a profiteer of war crime. George H.W. Bush, CIA, a lot of unanswered questions there about his connection to the JFK assassination, his association with Lyndon Johnson, his association with other individuals surrounding the death of President John F. Kennedy. It's interesting to note, Nancy Reagan always felt that George H.W. Bush had something to do with the attempted assassination of President Ronald Reagan. Even her children note that after that failed attempt, Nancy Reagan would never ever allow her husband to be alone with George Bush. Interesting. One of those things you won't see in any of the false tributes to this man. We do know for a fact that he believed in a one world order. Now under delusion, he believed that the United States would lead that one world order. They won't. But that was how he justified, I'm sure, in his own mind, uh, selling us out. I know how much the Bush family themselves have profited over wars and proxy wars and the name of democracy and freedom and whatever else it is that they give to spin it and sell it to the mass public. It's interesting to note the number of liberal media members, CNN, Chris Matthews at PMSNBC, gushing with sentiments and well wishes and what a, what a great man of integrity President Bush was. Joe Scarborough treating today that President Bush wished success for Bill Clinton. Now, all that's meant to do a couple things. One, they want to point out that what a no-good scumbag Donald Trump is and that George Bush had class as a Republican. Uh, the other, what they're tipping their hand to is there's no difference between establishment Republicans and establishment Democrats. You do understand they're simply different sides of the same coin. They're all in bed together. The oligarch, the media 
They work together. And the reason they have a visceral hatred for Donald J. Trump, he put power back into the hands of the people. You dared to rise up against all of their pontificating, against all of their bloviating, against all of their propaganda, and you voted against them. Hillary, part of the same club as George Herbert Walker Bush. Why do you think the Clintons and the Bushes get along so well? And the fake campaign we would have had if it had been Jeb versus Hillary. You do understand that their agendas are identical. Their lust for power, identical. And the way they know how to fleece the system for their own personal profit and gain, identical. George H.W. Bush made it clear he would not vote for Donald Trump. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Was it because Trump is so crude and rude? No. Well, why wouldn't he vote for a fellow Republican? It isn't about Democrat and Republican. It's not about left versus right with these people. It's about them versus us. It's about right versus wrong, good versus evil. I'm very serious when I say this. We are safer and we are better off with the loss of a George Herbert Walker Bush because even at 94, who knows what strings he was still pulling. I'll have more to say about this on the Monday edition of the Afternoon Drive, but I wanted to get this out here. There'll be no tribute, no memorial here on the Afternoon Drive.